Hey, what is up, guys? Rules for Rebels here. Got a kind of fun keyword tool for you guys to play around with. So uh, essentially, this is just going to spit out similar keywords. It's somewhat similar to Uber su Suggest. I'm not sure exactly where Keyword Shitter pulls their keywords from, whether it's uh, Google's Keyword Planner or some other tool. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of tools out there that do similar things, Uber Suggest and many others. Uh, but I really like this one as they have a positive filter and a negative filter. So let's just say, for example, and I'll show you guys how this works. Uh, lawn care. So if we do lawn care and click keyword shitter, it's going to start spitting out uh, similar keywords. Uh, so what I would want to do when I want to stop the job is I might click stop. And here what they're going to do, they're going to show us lawn care. There's 49,500 monthly searches and people on average are paying 47 cents to $4.36 uh, per click on like Google AdWords. Uh, lawn care logos, uh, 210 searches per month. Uh, 386 to 26 cents. So this would probably be lawn care companies who are looking to get a logo made or people looking for advice on what type of logo to create. Lawn care business, lawn care services, lawn care by Water Inc., lawn care near me. So as you can see, some of these terms are actually companies uh, searching for advice on how to start a lawn care business and things like that. Um, other ones are people looking for uh, actually somebody to service their lawn. So uh, lawn care, Amarillo, Texas is probably somebody, you know, obviously has zero monthly searches, but that would be a customer looking for a lawn care service. Whereas things like uh, lawn care flyers would probably be a business looking to get flyers made, lawn care business cards looking for where to get business cards made, lawn care software looking for some type of software that, that like schedules your routes and things like that. So if you have a service-based business, this could be uh, helpful to you. Um, if you are an affiliate marketer, this could be helpful to you. Like, let's say uh, I want to start an affiliate marketing uh, business about drones. So I could type in the word drones, and we can see what kind of st stuff pops up. So let's see here. We got, we'll stop it. Um, drones with camera, that would probably be looking for somebody looking to buy. Drones Amazon, somebody's looking to buy a, a drone off Amazon but wants to see some reviews or some suggestions. Zones Best Buy, something similar. Drones for kids, people probably looking for like a lower priced uh, drone, maybe one that doesn't fly as high. So if your kid damages it, you know, you're not losing $1,600. It's a small loss. Drones at Target, drones at Walmart. So if I were an affiliate marketer, I would probably join the Walmart affiliate program. I would probably join the Target affiliate program. I would probably join the Amazon affiliate program. And then I might write reviews recommending drones at Amazon, recommending drones at Target, recommending drones at Walmart. Uh, so I might do an article like the top three best drones at Target, and somebody who's going to Target to buy a drone is probably going to read my blog post, and if they don't physically go into the store to buy it, if they happen to buy it online, I could earn some affiliate money there. Drones in Chicago, drones for beginners. Maybe somebody's uh, just getting started with drones, and they're not quite ready to, to buy the $1,600 DJI Phantom, but they just want to buy a cheap drone with a camera so they can kind of test it out, see how it goes. If they break it, it's not going to cost them a fortune, so no big deal. Drones that fit GoPros, drones at Walgreens, drones with guns, um, drones at Toys R Us. So, you know, you pretty much have probably months worth of content that you can write just based off uh, pulling a quick little search here. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys just wanted to show you guys this tool. If you guys are eBay or Amazon sellers or have a Shopify store, this is a great way to get keywords to use in your titles, your tags, your descriptions, your blog posts. If you're an affiliate marketer, this is a great place to see like where people are buying their drones at, and you can write uh, articles targeting that. You can write articles targeting drones for beginners. If somebody's looking to buy a drone to do like real, real estate photography and start a business doing that, um, you could find some ideas for that. So uh, there's really no need to buy like the smart SERP for $30 a month or I, I was stupid and just recently signed up for Longtail Pro, uh, which I don't even think is as good as this. I paid $279 for a year of Longtail Pro and this does way better uh, in my opinion than Longtail Pro. So I really didn't need to spend the money. I'm going to try to get a refund on that. Uh, but yeah, in general, just wanted to show you guys kind of this cool tool. I also think it's got kind of a funny name. I've uh, been getting a little bit more into SEO lately and trying to learn some SEO. Uh, so I'll be making some videos with some basic SEO tips. I'll be sharing some other kind of tools that you guys can use for SEO for your Shopify store and whatever else. Uh, so we'll have more SEO stuff coming. If you guys have any topics on videos that you want me to cover, if you have some other keyword tools that are free that you want to suggest that might help other people, feel free to drop a comment below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Check back for more videos, and I will catch you guys uh, on Tuesday for the Side Hustle series. Uh, we're, doing, we're doing the Side Hustle again this Tuesday and Thursday, so we got some good stories for you guys. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.